Now most would look at both of these printer offerings as good beginner machines, which they are, but it turns out that they're so good, they're also great print farm offerings as well. But which one is best for you? What would I recommend for somebody getting started that also wants to use it down the road to potentially make some money with? I've been putting these to the test for a while now, and I'm kind of surprised that the answer is not as straightforward as I would have thought. This is the Bamboo Lab P1P, which is the bare bones version of the Core XY P-Series machine the X1C representing the top line of this configuration. And this is the Bamboo Lab A1, which looks wildly different and represents an even lower cost bed slinger design. The standard retail price of the P1P is normally $599, while the retail price of the A1 is $399. So I guess that settles it, right? Save $200, go with the A1. All right, thanks for watching. Happy printing. Not so fast. There are some things to consider that might steer you towards the more expensive P1P, but the reasons might surprise you. Okay, let's compare some stats of these machines. The build volume is identical for both at 256 millimeters or around 10 inches cubed. Both feature an all metal hot end capable of up to 300 degrees Celsius and heated beds up to 100 degrees Celsius. Both have onboard low resolution cameras for monitoring prints and doing time lapses. Both are crazy fast with input shaping technology with print speeds up to 500 millimeters per second. Though the max head acceleration on the A1 is 10 meters per second squared, versus 20 meters per second squared on the P1P. Spoiler alert, max acceleration is hardly ever reached, but could play a role in lowering print times on larger prints. And the biggest difference between the two is obviously how they look. The P1P being Core XY with this sort of metal exoskeleton, which creates a lot of rigidity in the frame. For this setup, the print head is the only mass being rapidly moved around during the print. The A1, on the other hand, relies on both the head and the bed to move rapidly during the print, which is generally harder to accelerate quickly and compensate for during input shaping. Based on my own testing, I found print times are generally 10 to 15% faster on the P1P versus the A1. The control screen on the P1P is a pretty basic offering, no color, no graphics, no touchscreen. The screen on the A1, on the other hand, is full color, supports graphics, and is controlled by touch. I frankly have no idea why this screen isn't offered on the more expensive P1P. Both the P1P and A1 have filament runout detection and power loss recovery, so at least that's included on both. And finally, the A1 comes partially assembled. That process takes 20 to 30 minutes, and the final result is more or less how it's gonna stay. The P1P, on the other hand, comes 99% assembled. All you've gotta do is pop the screen on, and can be upgraded to the fully enclosed P1S later if you want. <sighs> okay, so that's the high level comparison between these two machines, but what do you do with that information? Well, to truly answer that, it depends on your end goal. If you're just looking for a beginner machine to get started, go with the A1. Save the extra 200 bucks, or better yet, put it towards the AMS Lite to enable four color printing. Or if you're truly on a budget and just wanna get started, go with the A1 Mini. It's got most, if not all, of the features packed into the A1, just in a smaller footprint and a smaller price tag. It's a pretty rock solid gateway drug into the world of 3D printing. And you can snag one for even cheaper than the A1. With either of the A1s, you're gonna have a great experience with the same full color screen and the peace of mind knowing that it's just gonna work when you need it to, which is the number one most important factor when buying your first printer. And I know I can feel all you ender bros tensing up right now. But if you're using your printer for business or plan to down the road to make products or parts, I'd probably steer towards the P1P. From a build perspective, it's a lot more robust than the A1. And based on what I'm seeing in my print farm, having run P1Ps for close to a year now, they're pretty bulletproof. Pair that with the ability to upgrade them to P1Ss later down the road means you can open up a wider material set like ABS, ASA, and polycarbonate. The P-series machines also natively support the larger AMS if you wanna do multicolor printing, which you can link up to four together to get up to 16 different colors or materials on a single printer. And for some print farms, that can be really important. Now I know this thing lacks a lot of the creature comforts, like the screen, not great. And the skeleton look, it's kinda naked looking. But again, in a print farm, those things are frankly just not important. In fact, all of the printers in my print farm don't have color touchscreens. It's just not that big of a deal. The two things you should be focused on are reliability and throughput. And this thing has got both of those in spades. Now with that said, I am gonna be torture testing three of these A1s in my print farm to see how they do. I'm interested to see if they'd be good replacements for some of the more simple parts I'm currently running on my slow Prusas. Stay tuned for that and also the results of my larger P1P test I have running right now. Look, at the end of the day, both of these are fantastic options. I think it's really exciting that we live in a time where the beginner options are also potentially good farm options. It means transitioning from hobby to business is going to be much easier down the road. Whichever route you take between these two, I think you're going to be really happy with the results. Remember that if you're interested in starting or growing a 3D printing business, I've got a course launching in a couple of months where I teach you exactly how to do just that. Make sure you're on that email notification list so you know when registration opens. But until then, happy printing.